Hallelujah. Today's date is July 3rd. Tomorrow is Independence Day. And I'm just sitting here, chilling in the shade. 95 degrees, 21 percent humidity. I'm at one of my favorite locations, but the recent rain has made it a little bit not so favorite. So I just came out to make a video and to share some good news. We got to meet our Gideon sister Molly Moose today. And Julie and I just love her so much. She's a bundle of joy. She's true Gideon through and through. And she had gifts for us and it was all just so awesome. She shared with us a poem that was written by a friend of hers. I wanted to share that with you today. But I just wanted to say a few words and to say a prayer for humanity. Dear Lord Jesus, with all the world is going through, so many people are troubled and so many people are discouraged and yet so many people are encouraged and so many people are rejoicing at your coming, Lord. And we hope to encourage them to, to rejoice at your coming, to rejoice in the truth, for you are truth, Lord. And we give you thanks, we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. With everything that has happened in the world and everything that's going to happen in the near future we fear not for we have you with us Lord and we just give you all the thanks in your precious holy name I've heard that uh, the LHC in Switzerland, the big C word, is going to be activated day after tomorrow. And uh, some people are freaked out about it, but I'm not. I think it's uh, been used, weaponized against us. And I do believe that uh, God wins and that God is in control. He has sent his harvest angels. To fulfill Matthew chapter 13 this harvest time separating the wheat from the tares removing all that offend and those who practice lawlessness and so this uh, video is dedicated to the children this poem is dedicated to the children and I want to read to you right now this is from a friend of Molly Moose. And we just thank her for this. For the children, we were blinded by our ignorance of the suffering you've endured. Our minds could not perceive of the evil that's occurred. Abducted into darkness, above and underground, our hearts will never be at peace until everyone is found. The torture and abuse you knew, the wickedness you faced, your fear, your mental injury won't quickly be erased. Broken bodies someday heal, not so easily the soul, but you'll be given all you need to once again be whole. You are God's most sacred gift and we will never forget. We will live our lives remembering with sorrow and regret. With this promise, you dear hearts will fight until the end and the honor you've experienced and the horror you've experienced will never come again. Let's see if I can get it all into the one shot here for screenshot purposes. Let's see here. So the 
little bit windy makes this a little more difficult. And in the shade, I'll put it in the light and try and keep the camera in the shade. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow it away into the mud. <laughs> Dear Lord. All right, let's try again. It's so hard to tell if that camera is picking that all up or not, but hopefully it is. You can get a screenshot of that for your own collection. It's a beautiful poem. And we thank you, dear sister, for that. We thank you, Molly, for your, your wonderful gifts and all your love. And we look forward to spending more time with you. And I got to wear one of my gifts today. <laughs> thank you, Molly. You're a gem. We love you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the children. God said he'd had enough of the children's suffering. He's heard their cries and he's come to put an end to it. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Where we go one, we go all. <laughs>